Good afternoon and hello world. My name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. I normally use my blogs to talk about my own experiences about what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum, but I'm going to do something else different. And for those of you that watch, you guys know the drill. Uh, you know, what's the uh, fourth and final thing that I like to do? I can't hear you. Can somebody say exactly what, what I like to do on the fourth and final final th thing that I cover. What? Oh, yeah, right. I cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And uh, that means that I'm going to be talking about things that are all related to Dragon Con 2015. And I yeah, wanted to give some tips out there to some of the newbies that go to Dragon Con. And I wanted to say yeah, welcome to those of you that are attending Dragon Con 2015. Um, in I mean, this is another tip video. I have others from last year. And it has tips about what you guys can or can and cannot expect, like uh, riding public transportation home, like how to get around the con. And in this one, I would like to talk to you guys about costumes. Now, costumes, I'd say, is what, a good 95% um, of Dragon Con? Because, I mean, uh, Dragon Con is known for people dressing up and cosplaying, and you see all these gorgeous costumes, and yes, they look expensive. But the first thing I want you guys to know is a majority of uh, the nerds and geeks that go to Dragon Con um, cannot afford to buy these high-end costumes online unless uh, they... Uh, put some excess money to the side. No, I mean, I know a lot of people there that make these state-of-the-art costumes uh, just by uh, setting a budget. And they do things like they go to thrift stores and they go to craft stores and they buy craft foam and fabrics and they purchase patterns and they spend weeks at a time sewing things and they spend weeks at a time uh, making things themselves just out of... Uh, basic everyday average things that you would find at the store like molding clay and craft foam and again they go to thrift stores like I, uh, I for my uh, Dr. Sattler and my 11th doctor outfit I went to two thrift stores and I'd say I spent about thirty dollars on those together and then I went to Party City and bought a wig yeah, for my character Gwen Stacy um, another thing that you guys possibly could do is uh, Look for some items around the house that could uh, resemble something that a character could wear. Like the first time I dressed up like a Vulcan in 2010's Dragon Con Showcase, um, I uh, could not afford to order anything online because my budget was super tight. So the first thing that I did was I um, rummaged through my closet and I found a... Yeah, I don't know, a light blue polo shirt that was short sleeved and I found a mini skirt that I used to wear when I was in high school and junior high and I found a pair of boots that I got for another pirate costume uh, during uh, the uh, 2008 Halloween edition. I was really into Pirates of the Caribbean so I wanted to go as a female pirate for my birthday party uh, for a Halloween spectacular and so I, I just I threw those together and then I um, had a notepad and uh, of course those have cardboard on the back and I decided to rip that off and I printed out a mold of the um, of the Starfleet symbol and I uh, took I I mean I'm not not a mold but I printed it out like a, so I could have a pattern and I cut out the shape of a Starfleet symbol and I uh, took some aluminum foil and I took some tacky glue and I glued the aluminum foil onto the cardboard and I wrapped the foil around the cardboard and I just taped it onto the right side of my shirt and then I had followed some tutor tutorials online about how I could do a Vulcan and I mean if you guys would like me to do Vulcan makeup for you one of these days I'd be more than happy to so again for those of you who are new welcome don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, until next time I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off